Hello lovelies and welcome to an art journal process video today. So I just got a quick video for you today. I, I just wanted to play with paint. Ever get in that mood and you just want to put some paint on a page. So I just grabbed a few colours from roughly the same colour scheme. So I've got some um, blues and greens, or not greens, but teals here. I've got ocean and sky blue. And I'm just using a dry brush just to slap that around my Dina Wakely media journal. I didn't gesso my page, I forgot. <laughs> so uh, yeah, <laughs> this technique doesn't work as great as it would, but this is one of my favorites. It's just a great base and great starting point for an art journal page. So while your paint is wet, lay your stencil down and use a wet one to um, rub away some of that paint. And you, as you can see, you get um, a nice imprint there of your stencil. So it's one of my favorite starting points when you're trying to build up some layers. So now I'm just putting some of my colors onto a random piece of paper that I had. I'm using it as a paint palette. Um, I put a little bit too much of the fuchsia on, but I end up using that and you'll see that later on. I got some night, um, some more of that, what is it, ocean. And then uh, I attempted to get some white out of my tube, but it's just not happening, it's all dried up. So yeah, just, I wanted a bit of contrast. So I wanted, I'm using the fuchsia to really make this stencil pop off that page. It's one of my favorite stencils. And then this is another one of my favorite stencils and I wanted another bold color. So I'm using my night. I just felt like playing with some stencils today and yeah, playing with some paint. So I'm just running, um, I'm using a makeup sponge. It's one of my favorite ways to apply paint through a stencil. Very rarely do I use brushes. And as you can see, when I'm ready to use a new color, I just cut the end off and get multiple uses out of it. Now, if you've watched my videos, you know how much I love that tone on tone. So I'm using that teal um, through another stencil on my page and it's giving it a nice little, another layer, but not contrasting like the rest of these colors are. So it's giving me another layer on my page without it really popping out and standing, jumping off that page, which is what I wanted. So it wasn't messy enough. I know it sounds strange, but I love my art journal pages messy and chaotic so I decided to add some splatters in the night. I love night, it's one of my favorite colors. And then we know how much I love to add a focal image and I love my silhouette stencils so I grabbed one of my new ones and then I'm literally just using my hands to slather that paint around to give me the outline of my stencil. I don't do the best job, it's pretty messy when I take it off but you know there's no wrong in art so I just go with it. As you can see, it doesn't exactly look like a silhouette, but you know, it works for me. So I'm using the black, I didn't want, originally I had, I was going to cover up the majority of my background, but I just loved it too much. So I didn't want to cover it up, so, but I did still want that silhouette. So I used the black just to give me an outline and you'll see what I do with that in a minute. This is how I use up the rest of that fuchsia and the paint that I had on my palette. I uh, wasn't gonna let good paint go to waste. So I just threw it down and decided to make the base for a new art page. I didn't want to leave it just plain, so I thought I'd get my stencil out and um, try some more of that reduction. Just as I said, it's a great basis for an art page. You can layer on top of that quite nicely. And I love the, the contrasting colors because I don't tend to use reds and pinks all that often. I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone and use new colors. So the fact that I have these big fuchsia page to work on in the near future is very exciting. So now I'm using my new favorite um, white pen. I, I tend to kill paint pens because I'm too impatient to wait for them to dry. So I found these jelly roll pens. The paint, it doesn't matter if you put them through wet paint, they don't die. So yeah, I'm enjoying using these much more. And I just scribbled some journaling in that um, black, or night, sorry, just so I've got my journaling on my page. And then I'm using my feud ball pen, which is another pen I don't, I haven't killed. It does really well over wet paint, just to outline that silhouette, just to make it more prominent so you can actually see that it is a silhouette. And that's it for my page. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Bye for now.